that's it. Wait, I'm trying to figure out a name. I'm trying just one single name. Uh, let's see, let's see. Fix. It's a mega nut fix. Like a coffee fix or something like that. It's going to be a mega nut, meg, missy mega, miss not mag fix. Missy not mag fix. That's what missy. <laughs> What's the big news? Today the big news is I unsubscribed to the Giant N. Yes, I unsubscribed. I am not putting my money where Missy Messy is. Please. Okay, they signed. Uh, uh, I don't know. We don't know if it's the truth. But all right to see what she's coming up next. Okay, Harry Meghan's 150 million woke TV, a surefire success or dangerously overhyped. Obvious. The right answer is dangerously overhyped. Of course, whatever comes out of her mouth is dangerous and it's overhyped. Capite? That's what I mean. I can't believe these giants. Well, I can't. Because the problem is, Missy Messy believes, truly believes, that she has. Yeah, this is her. It's not me. I mean, someone called me nutty nutty because I was doing this and uh, na na na. But this is Missy Messy, people. This is Missy Messy. I'm just copycatting her. I can't. I mean, it's not my problem that she's nutty. Okay. She believes, she truly believes, okay, <laughs> she truly believes that she will have uh, the entire cast and crew under her little wings, under her little fingers doing this, you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this, and you're going to obey me, or else I will throw tea, hot tea on top of you. Mm, it's not going to work, Missy. The problem is they're going to throw hot coffee on you. They're going to fire you. They're going to send you back to the dungeon. Or to the basement where you're living. I don't know. Because I, I still can't believe that they, she bought that thing. I can't believe she bought that house. Why on earth would you need 16 bathrooms? You know, people get tired of cleaning toilets. Canceled my, I canceled it. I had no doubt. I've been with them for about almost eight years. I canceled. I, I did not think twice. No way, Jose. And I am going back. I am not going back. Do not send me mail send asking me to go back because I am not going back. This is what the quotes are couple warned i don't know if they warned when you switch on the hype machine you have got to deliver i wonder if that said if they said that or okay okay someone said that they had no they they are no ch they have no chance to fail under the spotlight world they're gonna fail anyway so okay they announced the move yesterday which is worth an estimated 150 million a statement from them praise nah Okay, they added they were looking forward to using truthful and relatable lens. I wonder who said that. Okay, it wasn't Missy. No, she, she's, she's a liar. I can't believe these giants are a liar. A woman that has a baby doll as a kid, as a baby, and wants the world to believe. I can't believe it. How silly are they? Are they that silly? That's one more thing that I, oh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to re regret living. I'm back, baby. I ain't going back. The royal couple's fans have welcomed a new of the deal enthusiastically well the fans are the sugars yeah okay so we can't talk about that one industry expert called the project incredibly dangerous and overhyped and added they have got no chance to fail they're not going to succeed they're not going to succeed success mm -mm, no they won't they have not they have got to succeed if they lose they have got a lot of eggs on their face <laughs> eggs <laughs> eggs oh wow man Eggs are nothing. She's going to be kicked out of the U.S. of Bay. I, I, I mean, they're already fed up with her in that neighborhood. That neighborhood where she bought that multi-million dollar thing, which I do not believe. They're already fed up. Can you imagine if she fails this $150 million whatever arrangement? But as I said before, and I'm going to come back to the same thing. She thinks that she rules everything. She thinks that she, her word will be, you know, obeyed. No, sorry, she's going to be under their umbrella. She's going to be the one having to get there at 4 a.m. in the morning to her makeup room, sit down and say whatever they want her to say. Because that's what's going to happen. That's the business. That's how it goes. $150 million deal, which I don't think so, but let's go with the flow. Let's go with the lies and everything. I mean, they're not going to fool around. They are not going to fool around. And they're not going to let her fool around. Missy. They're not going to be carpets in the world that's going to make them, you know, go under your wing. So 
You better watch out, Miss. Saying throughout our work, that's both of them say it. M and H, the the mega nuts flicks. Okay, the mega nuts flicks. Yeah. Okay, the mega nuts flicks. Yes. Okay, let's talk a little bit about their work. Okay, charities where all the money goes into Missy's pocket. Uh, planting seeds. Oh, yes, I forgot one little thing. What the heck was she doing in that dirt? You know, just like that, like a little, like my little Monty does this when he wants to hide his toys. She's wearing those diamonds, but I, she sold those diamonds that belonged to Lady Di, and she's wearing some glass because no women in the world would let her little fingers with those beautiful diamonds in the dirt doing like this, like a little puppy dog, and those diamonds in the dirt. No way, Jose. So, you know, yeah. And channeling lady died dressed in jeans on jeans on jeans, please. Hello. You know, it had to be some baggy stuff. Don't cross your legs. You should be kneeling. And I mean, and that little girl's face. I have to talk about that little girl's face. She was so shocked. I think that little girl will never, ever, ever want to go back to school in her entire life. So she damaged that little poor kid. He damaged that little poor kid. And believe me, I was the mother of that little girl. I would sue them like they sue everybody. I would say, show me your baby, show me your baby doll, and then I'll put my little child in front of your pictures for you to pretend that you're doing some charity work. Missy, go away. Get out of that school, Missy. You know what I mean? There's a oh, big lawsuit's coming after you. Planting seeds, that's a highly, highly, I, I, I mean, how, how, how many years do you have to go to university to study how to plant seeds? So they do that. They distribute uh, diapers and, and wipes, wet wipes. Yeah, that's, that's a tough job. Man, that's a really tough job. Okay. Other children in need, you know, the ones that I talk about all the time. These people are underprivileged people. They do not want to be seen in that situation, but she loves to expose other people's problems. Missy, messy, nutmeg. I am going to repeat it again. You better grab that doll of yours and put it in front of the camera. Take a hundred pictures. Choose one if you wish, but show us the doll. I'm going to Every single video talk about this doll, the doll. We want to see the doll. And stop fooling around that you can't, that, you know, H is going to play rugby balls. He can't find a rugby ball. Uh, please, hello, Google. The giant will send you a bucket full of... <sighs> it's tiring, isn't it tiring? It's mega nut, mega nut fix. I forgot the name I gave them. I'll come back. It, it will come back. It will come back. Okay. And then another company said... They were capable, they were young, and they were capable to manage pressure. Hello, did you know Missy Messy Nutmeg when she did that documentary, that fake documentary in Africa? <laughs> Nobody asks me if I'm okay. I mean, she looked like a five-year-old. Is she a secure, you know, powerful woman? Please, hello. And, you know, yeah. Now, Giant N, ask her, do not forget every single morning when she goes to work, ask her if she's okay. You better ask her if she's okay or else she's going to throw a tantrum and you're going to lose all your 150 millions going to the trash because that woman's going to ruin everything. Watch out. She's ruining the Zoom calls all by Harry. Harry is Zooming, poor little thing, and he's like... He's looking for her behind the scenes, behind everything. She's there maybe with the big board, like, you have to say this, you look to the left, you look to the camera, and then her phone rings, bling, bling, bling. That's Missy Messy's phone, and he was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do now? I'm going to tell him what, because nobody in that Zoom had their phones on. Nobody. Because when you're in a Zoom call, so important that you're going to talk to Prince Harry, you turn off your phone. Sorry. You tell your dogs to not bark. You tell your children not to, you know, call mommy. No. The only one who's allowed to call mommy or daddy is Orchie. But, you know, it's a doll. It's out of battery. So, you, didn't know. you know the story. So, he's being guided behind the scenes. Oh, so, mm, I don't feel sorry for him. He's a silly one. He's a silly, silly, silly one. Man, oh boy, are you so silly. God. I didn't know he was that silly. There it is, here it is. Okay, but another one said, what says that incredibly dangerous and overhyped? So this one is the guy, this one is telling the real truth the whole, about what's really going to happen. Then here comes another one. It could be the sugars. I guess it's a sugar. But another one said they are confident it would be a huge success and the pair were capable of managing the pressure because they were bright and young and intelligent. Okay, they're not bright, they're not young. She's 45, he's almost 40. I don't think that's young. Young for me is 20. 20 is already getting old because, you know, these models, these cute little models that do not have a wrinkle in their face, they're around 12, 12 years old. Okay, so 45, middle age, okay, not so young. Harry and Megan announced yesterday they have founded a production company to make documentary, feature films, scripted shows, and children's programming. Okay. 
seriously. Would you let your child watch a TV show on the big giant who is promoting the two, the uh, nutheads? No. I mean, kids should not be exposed to this. Why aren't they signing? This would be something they would earn, not even millions, they would earn trillions. My suggestion is a documentary like this, a day in Archie's life. How about that? One single day behind Archie's life, changing diapers. No, one years old, he's already potty trained. He's already potty trained. Yeah, believe me not. He's already potty trained, hopefully. Okay, so this is what you should do. It's going to be worth trillions. A day in Archie's life, how he plays, what he eats, you know, just like all YouTubers do, what I eat in a day, uh, what did I, what are my toys, and then she should do some advertising for some toys, some di uh, uh, little briefs, uh, his toys, I mean, she would earn trillions. Can you imagine if one little kid wants to have a toy like Archie? There is no baby Archie, so that's why Missy Messy Nutmeg and her other Nutmeg husband, because he's Miss, Mrs. He's feminist, so I guess he's we can call him Mrs. Nutmeg. They have to, to, to use other people. They have to pretend that they have a family. They have to pretend everything. Because if they had a real child, she, the way she loves money, she would be doing a documentary on what my baby Archie looks like in real life. But that doesn't exist because it's a doll. It's a doll. It does not exist. And stop this nonsense that you have a son. You don't have a son. You have a doll. And that's doll. It's a doll. It's a doll. Yeah, I'm saying it's a doll. I'm saying it's a doll. It's a doll. It's a doll.